Hey everyone, as an author, you can now add reference lines or reference band for derived date and attribute columns from your dataset or from subject area columns. Let's start with a couple of examples on the consumer view. On the right hand side, you can see that there's a reference band drawn for the line chart, which is based on a derived date column called ship date year. And then the bottom bar chart shows a reference line drawn for an order date year, which is again a derived date. So what are derived dates? So let's go into the authoring mode. Derived date only applies to data sets where a date time column shows a pre-aggregated and pre-computed list of period granularities such as year, quarter, month, week, etc., allowing the author to quickly summarize the data based on these period granularities. So on this line chart, the grammar uh, shows the number of orders that is plotted against the ship date year, which is the derived date column, and uh, there's a ship mode on color target. If you go to the property panel on the advanced properties, you can see that the author has set up a reference band for the derived date. Now let's uh, try to add a reference line for an attribute column. Uh, let's use this bar chart that uses an attribute called product category on the x-axis with number of customers and ship mode on Y and color target respectively. So I'm gonna to go to the property panel and we'll add a reference line and change the default column from the measure to an attribute column called product category. The reference line is drawn for a member of the product category column. This is set to office supplies, which the author can change. Um, and uh, the rest of the properties that we have for reference line applies for uh, a reference line that's drawn for a derived date or an attribute column. Another important capability for the author is to parameterize the value column. You can use the parameter icon next to the values column. I've already created a parameter for demonstration purposes called product category that is using the available va uh, values from the product category column in this data set. And then the initial value is set to the first available value. So let's go ahead and bind this parameter to the value column of this reference line. And once you bind it, uh, I'm going to add a dashboard filter bar and uh, let's expose this parameter as a filter column and uh, let's go ahead and change this to a radio button on the multi-select to off. This allows the consumer experience uh, to dynamically update the reference line based on a value that the consumer user selects at runtime um, or while interacting with the workbook at runtime. Thank you for watching this video.